And Kraft has a few easy food ideas for that good time. Maryland crab meat dip, made with creamy, smooth, cheese whiz, pasteurized processed cheese spread, parquet margarine, and canned crab meat. Served hot, it makes a great fondue. For chips and celery sticks, we have teas dips, made with real sour cream in five flavors. Or whipped cream cheese with chives. Squeeze a snack cheese spread is always fun, and it looks pretty, too. Well, that's it. Your friends had a few good ideas from Kraft. Have a good time. Stairs. You're probably wondering why I look so mad. Well, I'm concerned about the symphony on the summer opera. We got a problem. Money. If you want to hear da 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 and other nifty numbers, please send a couple of bucks. The Taft and Art Museums need the money too. If we don't get your help, I'll never smile again. We can't go on without you. Send your tax-deductible gifts to this address. Thank you. Here are Shields and Yarnell for the music station, FM 100. Life can get hectic, frustrating. It's easy to get tense, all wound up. Turn to FM 100 and unwind. You're listening to the comfortable sound of FM 100. It's a beautiful place to be. Unwind with FM 100. This is Super Dennis. Jeans fear him. Seams split. Zippers fall. Rivets pop. So we challenged him to try to destroy Super Denims, the incredibly tough jeans from J.C. Penney. The fabric a rugged, heavyweight, long-lasting denim. The seams clamped tight with extra strong thread. Stress points riveted. And most important of all, the knees are specially reinforced. Super Denim jeans. They're built to take the kind of punishment your Super Dennis dishes out. Leaving. This wicked itch is killing me. <laughs> You've got the wicked itch. But I've got Lanacane. Lanacane! <laughs> Lanacane cream kills the wicked itch fast with itch killer plus painkiller. No hydrocortisone like Cordate has that. Sunburn, dry skin, poison ivy, insect bites. Lanacane kills all your wicked itches. Lanacane! Ah, Lanacane does kill the wicked itch. When you take jewelry self-defense, then you too can say, nobody bothers me, nobody bothers me, call USA 1000, jewelry means might for right. Nobody buys me, nobody buys me. Funny 
thing about these freckles of mine. Part of me likes them, but the other part doesn't. Are you talking about me again, freckle face? I told you never to call me that. You never think about me yearning to be glamorous, to be freckleless, to be a woman. Well, I was going to surprise you, but I can't take any more of this. This is love's cover. It covers freckles beautifully. It's for you. Hey, pay attention. I have something else here to show you. This is love's color. It's just color. It'll let my freckles show through. I tell you what. You take the night shift and I'll take the days. When you want your real skin to show, use Love's Color. It's just color, and it'll just add a healthy glow to your face. When you don't, use Love's Cover. It covers your skin naturally. <coughs> hey, you big capsule! You've got a cold? <laughs> Coughing my head off, aching all over. But those hundreds of little time pills. Now, one of them fights that coughing and aching? Uh-uh. Too bad, Big Capsule. Daycare does. Relieves those coughs and aches the Big Capsule doesn't. Both relieve stuffiness, but daycare won't make you drowsy. It'll help make your day. Vicks Daycare takes on more cold symptoms than the Big Capsule any day. <laughs> Sorry, big fella. drink a lot of water. I really have to go. People are waiting to tee off. There's no restroom out here. Has this happened to you? I've got the perfect gift. Introducing the Euro Club, the discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. It looks like an ordinary golf club, but contains a reservoir built into the grip to relieve yourself. The Euro Club comes with a towel and appears that you are just checking out your club. Leak-proof, easy to clean, and no embarrassing moments. Order now. The Euro Club, the only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. Want to see Atari's latest contribution to the arts? With the new Atari Artist Program and this simple little device, you draw here and it comes out there. No typing and no programming. The Atari Touch Tablet works with this stylus or just your finger. You can create perfect geometric shapes and fill in patterns or colors. And then you can change background colors with just a touch. How's that for state-of-the-art art? Oh, look at that. that that's good. Here's Milky, the marvelous milking cow. It's fun to milk her, gonna do it right now. She drinks the water when we pump her tail. She's raising her head, it's milking time now. Her pretend milk is a feeling the pail. She drinks water, I just pretend milk. Milky, the marvelous milking cow. Milky, the marvelous milking cow with pretend milk tablets. She's from Kenner. from the money store. We're giving away a Cabbage Patch Kid doll with every first or second mortgage loan during the holiday season. As usual, qualified borrowers get instant approval on long-term fixed-rate homeowner loans. If you're looking for a first or second mortgage loan, call now and reserve your Cabbage Patch Kid doll. Call the money store toll-free. Dial 1-800-221-9000. Hot dogs, they're as American as baseball and apple pie. But what makes a hot dog more than just a hot dog? Introducing the Happy Hot Dog Man. It brings ordinary hot dogs to life, making lunchtime more fun. Just put your hot dog into the Happy Hot Dog Man and close the lids. The Happy Hot Dog Man makes a happy imprint on your hot dog. Now you're ready to cook it into a fun Happy Hot Dog Man figure that can be decorated and eaten. It's like a toy you can eat. Classic dogs, beef dogs, turkey dogs, veggie dogs, the Happy Hot Dog man does them all. You can make them into little like girls or boys and decorate them in clothes and everything. Add ketchup, mustard, relish, cheese. Make them any way you please. The Happy Hot Dog Man is so easy to use, kids can do it. Happy Hot Dog Man is awesome. 
take your family's food from boring to scoring. Make it a game to dress your dog the best and vote which one is the wiener. We all end up acting like kids at dinner. Make your dinner a wiener with the Happy Hot Dog Man. You can get the Happy Hot Dog Man in red for $10.99 and we'll send you the Happy Hot Dog Man in yellow free. You can find out about free shipping when you upgrade your order. And we'll double the offer to four Happy Hot Dog Men. And we'll also include a bonus ketchup critter and mustard monster. Pay separate $6.99 processing fee. They attach to your existing bottles and make decorating your Happy Hot Dog Man even more fun. You can get it all. Four Happy Hot Dog Men plus the ketchup critter and Mustard Monster, all for $10.99. And remember, you can find out about free shipping when you upgrade your order. We love Happy Hot Dog Man! If your dog is feeling sick, you can help them really quick. Play-Doh Doggy Doctor, you're the doctor, it's up to you. You can fix them good as new. Play-Doh Doggy Doctor, open wide, a tongue inside, what's in your ear? Now it's clear, a little shot could help a lot, this won't hurt a bit. If your doggy's really dragging, you can get his tail a wagon. Play-Doh Doggy Doctor. Play-Doh Doggy Doctor, four packs sold separately. You can find more fun at Hasbro.com. Ask a parent first. Fall head over heels in fun at the 82nd Annual Clackamas County Fair this Tuesday through Sunday. Catch exciting rodeo action every night at 7.30 and Sunday at 2, along with featured stage shows every hour and real Alaskan racing pigs, all free with general admission. There's thrilling rides, exhibits, and a lot more. It's fun for everyone, but it only happens once a year. Fall head over heels in fun at the Clackamas County Fair in Canby through Sunday. Don't miss it. Swack! It's a brand new game called Swack! What you do is carefully take off little bits of cheese. But don't spring that trap! You get a big piece or a little piece. Each piece you get counts points for you. But watch out or Swack! If you're real, real careful, you get more cheese than your friends and win. But if you're not careful, Swack! 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 Play Swack! From Ideal, the good game people. Coffee. Isn't that wonderful? Out of coffee. What a time to run out. And why run out? Now there's a new giant size instant Maxwell House. A really big jar of coffee. New giant size instant Maxwell House gives you cups and cups and cups. Dozens of extra cups of the coffee with that warm bean flavor. Warm bean flavor because it's made from coffee beans still warm from roasting. That's why new Instant Maxwell House is the freshest tasting coffee yet. So to make sure you've always got plenty of coffee for the man in your house, get the new giant size Instant Maxwell House. You won't have to run out again. Two new Mr. Potato Head toys. Donald Duck! Both are the clowns! Each with Mr. Potato Head. Take all the parts and put them together. Where do the noses go? Where noses belong. Forget both of Donald's almost Donald. Heard your mouth. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head, where's your other ear? It's over here. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head toys from Hasbro.
curls just like yours. And her green eyes match her play suit. Velvet, here's your new friend Mia. Her hair grows too. And her opera's blue, like her eyes. Mia's your size, Velvet. She can wear your jumpsuit. And look, won't Chrissy's party just look beautiful on Carrie? Additional outfits may be purchased separately. They're ideal. And now, on with the show. Welcome to yet another edition of Jackie Naaman Jones, The Hands of Pain. Sorry, my cat loves to jump up as soon as uh, that countdown hits five seconds and there's no stopping her. Thank you, Tori. Yes, <laughs> I had a tail for a little bit. Where is she? Uh, she's going to hop up any second. That's Jupiter. Anyway, welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for joining us a week early. We uh, we normally do the Hands of Paint classes on the fourth Saturday of every month. Uh, that would have fallen on Christmas Eve, which is exactly one week from today. So thanks for showing up early. And I uh, hope you're able to watch this um, before Christmas. And you can, paint, uh, you can paint the beautiful gift for the loved one in your life. Uh, it may be a horrifying gift, but a gift nonetheless. Uh, just wanted to pop up, up, up top, pop in up top real quick. And just remind you guys to join the student Facebook group if you have not yet already. And uh, that's the place where uh, you guys get to vote on future paintings. Um, you guys overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly cho uh, chose pitch for today's class. Uh, but we have lots of other options in there, including, uh, I believe, Robot Monster, Beast of Yucca Flats, Brain That Wouldn't Die. There's a lot of really fun ones, and we're going to uh, keep putting them to a vote. And uh, we still have this class going on uh, in 2023, the fourth Saturday of every month. Thank you again for being a student with us. And also, um, at the end of class, we would absolutely love if, you, uh, if you're comfortable with it, popping up on camera and showing off your work. You can also email me a picture and we'll show it on the screen, but we really love uh, seeing in real time what you guys are up to. So, all right, enough out of me. Let's bring out our instructor for today. You know her, you love her, my cats. Uh, 
you know her, you love her. She's amazing. Please welcome Jackie Maimon Jones. Hey, Jackie. So love me like cats. <laughs> <laughs> these cats. I that as a compliment. <laughs> no, it's like these cats know that I'm live streaming, and as soon as I go live, they have to just start like doing all oh, sorts yeah. of crazy stuff. Um, well, and yeah, we were just having a conversation earlier about you being tempted to getting a dog and. Yeah. Oh, I got Shanka here. She'll be on camera shortly. But yeah, dogs are toddlers. <laughs> yeah, they're total toddlers. I and I, I uh, kind of want a dog, but I know that I could probably not be responsible <laughs> with it because I like sleeping in late and all these other things that you know having a dog would prevent me from doing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for today. You uh, this yeah. painting you did. I believe you said your four year old granddaughter absolutely loved it and insisted yeah. you hang it up on your your dining room wall or something yeah my, my sons and daughter-in-laws and all four grandkids live like across the yard basically yeah and in in the house that they that my sons grew up in and uh, i took this over uh, as soon as i finished it what a couple of weeks ago to show my daughter-in-law because she loves horror i mean her you know her christmas decorations are a lot of black and red and you know i mean that's her thing sounds like my my uh, niece too you know yeah and uh so i showed her this and she just fell in love with it and kind of grabbed it <laughs> <laughs> and I, mean, well, I don't have any wall space so yeah hang it up here and then the four-year-old granddaughter came in and just she wouldn't let go of it so yeah. anyway we've all decided that this is now a uh, new family tradition nations <laughs> and it's I'm so sorry <laughs> and they have a, a place of honor in the living room I had, yeah. to, I had to get it this morning to bring it here and as I was leaving my daughter-in-law Isha said you're bringing that back right <laughs> <laughs> It's such a beautiful painting, but Pitch is just so, he's such a creepy uh, so character. <laughs> that, uh... Posting the, um, you know, the link to the show because Mark and I watched it and I loved Pitch. I loved the dancing and the, yeah, and, yeah. And to me, especially, I think um, it resonates with me because I grew up in El Paso, Texas. Mm -hmm. And so that whole, you know, just that whole, the thing was filmed in Mexico. So you right. know, Catholicism, that sin and all of that is all in there, especially if you grew up in a neighborhood that was very deeply yeah. into this sort of thing. And, and yet we both agreed that Pitch was cool. He was like fun, but Santa is creepy. Oh, I know. I have him as my he's my so backdrop creepy. right now, and uh, looks like he's laughing at me. Uh, but yeah, he is super creepy. It's the creepy. Oh yeah, he's watching kids through a telescope and like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I know you were uh, you were at the Mad Show on Tuesday. Matt found uh, yes. someone like recut the trailer for that movie, but yes. like as a horror movie. Uh, that was amazing. That um, was great. Yeah. No, I I I'm telling you, I blocked out all my Tuesday evenings <laughs> yeah. um, to be at the shows because that's you know that's yeah what I want to do. Yeah. No, it's and it was... uh, let's see. Mark and I watched something else the other. <sighs> Last week, I can't remember what it was. Oh, there was wow. some interesting images in there. I'll, I'll come up with it. But but then this one, I um, if if y'all haven't seen it, you probably have. But yeah, the you have the flats. And this one is kind of personal to me as well because as I was watching it, I'm like looking at the background and thinking how familiar it all looks. And I think a lot of it was filmed you know, around White Sands Missile Range and uh, outside of El Paso in the desert area. And, um, There's a lot of movies filmed around there, yeah. Yeah, White yeah. Sands. And uh, what was that? Was that the cave? The, the, the yeah, teenage... Bronson... Alien oh, teenagers. Teenagers from outer space. That was the movie we watched on Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, but and the, the Bronson Caves were in that, right? 
Oh, there were caves in it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah I don't know where they filmed that, but yeah. I've been watching so many things. I'm all <laughs> They're all blurring together. Yeah. I'll do a compilation. I don't know. We could. Oh, that'd be really fun, actually. Hey, best, why not? It's, best it's, of painting. It's hard classes. Yeah. You, know, you guys have suggestions. I would love them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just create whatever you want. <laughs> cool. So um, I'll let you get to it. Yeah. And uh, at the again at the end of class, if folks want to hop in, we would love to see your work. And also, please just shoot me an email at your work, Chris at dumb-industries.com, so I can add it to the student gallery and show it at the end of the show. And uh, we'll see you in just a little bit. Yeah, and I know right. I get quiet like it always does, but I don't get nervous anymore. I'm like, oh, okay. All That's right. a good thing. If it's we're all quiet, that means we're like really into our art. You're really so. into it. Yeah. But right. you know this looks complicated, and so if you read the blog, uh, hopefully I got all the basic information in there. Uh, I said for the face, you know, just like a, a piece of paper, normal paper, uh, typing paper, it doesn't matter. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to draw kind of a half an egg figure there and cut it out. So to begin with, if you don't have these things and you're working on canvas or when you, you want that balance, anyway, you're going to need some paper. Um, for my wreath in the background, and this is a 16 by 20 canvas, but that's going to be the inside circle. So these are just some basic things I use. And then uh, for the horns, I even used the plate for that as well to get these curves just to help me with the balance. So um, for the canvas, basically it's a piece of paper, uh, a plate, and your brushes, of course, and your paint. Oh, if you have the paper, you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut that thing up. And then, as usual, if you've been in my classes before, I use a set of five brushes, and they pretty much serve me for everything. Uh, so I think that's like an inch and a half, inch and three-quarter, uh, inch, half inch, Quarter inch. Oh my God. Oh, it's my dog. Yeah. And, and a liner brush. My dog loves paint brushes. Can you hand me that one so I can? So, yeah, you don't let her get stuff. You know, I'm sure this is useful and I'll be able to use it somewhere for some effects. But anyway, this is her toy now. Um, what else? Yeah, um, so I've already drawn my uh, my half circle here just to get that out of the way. But what I did is uh, take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and then draw my half egg kind of shape. So for this... Um, I'm going to cut that out, but since I traced it, I kind of looked at it, I'm, I'm going to cut it out just a little bit Small. smaller. Yeah. So see, you kind of, kind of got a, shape, a face shape there. It actually worked out pretty well. And then I'm saving this piece because that's what I call my stencil. And that's going to go on there to get that face shape in there. So this is how I'm going to do it. You got your paints. And, uh, you know, whatever colors you want, if you've watched the movie, Pitch is uh, a very shiny red, uh, if you've looked at his costume. But, uh, and then the wreath I'm doing in the greens. And then the outside, I just decided to do blue. You can do anything you want, but 
These are basically the colors I'm using, always the primaries, yellow, red, and blue, and black and white. Today I added, for me, I this is a dark, dark red. I just wanted to add that. Uh, a lot of times I do the blending. And, you know, if you've seen the video, I'll show you how to blend paint with just the primaries in black and white. You can get all the colors you want out of those. But uh, today, just for fun, I could have made green with blue and yellow, but I added green. Also, I'm using an old uh, microwave plate for my plate here because I like recycling. Um, oh, one more thing you're going to need if you're going to do it this way is the background is uh, kind of a faux finish. I used to do faux finish for like uh, 30 years. That was my career. And uh, I'm working on getting some of those photos on the fan page so that you can see really what I've done in my life. But um, I take a rag. In this case, it's just a piece of like, um, oh, a piece of old sheeting from an old sheet. You can use you can use paper, like paper towels. You can use a, a washcloth that you may not want to use again, or that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> but anyway, so that's how I get this background. And some of this technique is uh, basically with a wadded up wet rag. This one I've already gotten wet, but but once I have the paint on it, then I can manipulate it and move it around like that. So those are the yeah, those are the extra tools that you might need today if you're doing it on paper or canvas and using paint. And as we've seen before, you guys are pretty creative. Um, Somebody said they were doing it on their own skin today. What? The tattoo markers. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see. Really? Oh, God. I can't wait to see this. No, you guys are amazing. I love, uh, I just love how you've taken and exploded this. So, I'm going to start with the inside circle just so I can get my balance and know where that face is going to go. And I'm using a paper plate as my inside circle. And I'm going to place it about center on my canvas and just draw a pencil line around it because that'll be easy to paint over. And then I'm going to take pitch here, and I'm going to put, you know, you can do it either, like, okay. I want to center him in there. But I'm using the cutout piece as my stencil. Does that make sense? I'm going to hold that there. Take my biggest brush. Uh, I've got a glass of water here for my paint for my to rinse my brushes. So I dip it in, I scrape it off so it's not like dripping wet. And if it's still really wet, you can use your um, paper towel or washcloth. Or and then I'm gonna start with my darker red. I have two colors of red here. I'm going to start with my darker red, and because it's a stencil, if I go against it, it'll bleed under. We can fix that later, but it's just easier if you So my, my brush actually has too much red, I mean too much water on it, but I'm going to go for it. 
Because God, who knows, might end up with something really different and cool. I don't know. But my purpose right now is really just to get that shape. Definitely too much water on this brush. And don't worry, we got a lot of cleanup to do around. This is just to get our face on there so that we can uh, see the balance of everything else. So I'm going to bring more of that red in there. I'm using my biggest brush. It's just probably a mistake right now because it's a little too big. But me making mistakes is one of the ways you guys learn. <laughs> right? I use acrylic paints. Uh, I love oil paints, but I wouldn't teach them in a class because they take way too long to dry. I'm going with a different brush now, smaller one. I'm going to come back and trace that out just so it has a little time to dry while I work on some of the other parts. Okay. I'm just going to leave that alone for now. You know, I'm not even going to do his ears yet. What I want to do right now is get this background. And I'm going to use that same brush. And since I'm using black and white, I just rubbed it off on my uh, paper towel here. <laughs> Let me get it wet just a little bit. I'm going to pick up some white and a little black, just a little bit. And I'm just going to fill in this background. It doesn't have to be precise at this moment. We're just we're getting our shapes in here. The paint will dry and we'll have an opportunity to, uh, to do more and add more. Right now I'm just getting a basic little bit of color in there. And you see, I'm not going to put his ears on yet because in this case, they go over onto the wreath. So I want to get this wreath in there next while this middle part dries. That's a pretty good start. So I don't have to worry about having a bigger circle for the outside because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the inside and then I'm going to go about, you know, I can tell the distance. And anyway, it's a wreath, so it's not perfect. It's plant life and such like that. But before I do that, I, I really want to start on uh, this background. I'm going to use that same brush, the middle one. What is it, like an inch? And uh, I'm not too worried about the colors on it because you can see there's a lot going on back here. Get that brush wet again. Scrape it off. And I got a lot going on in here. I got black, I got white, I got blue. Oh, uh, this is where you're going to need that rag. And I'll show you why. So I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up some blue, pick up some white, 
I just like to mix it all together. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to put some paint on there. I'm just going to put some paint on there. Take my rag. It's wet, by the way. I've already got it wet and squeezed it out. I'm just going to kind of make a little pad in my hand here. And I'm going to manipulate it. <laughs> See? Again, this is acrylic paint. It dries quickly. I can come back with other coats. I'm going to do the same thing again, a little white, a little blue, a little fat, black, this side. If it starts dragging, you get a little more water on the brush. Hopefully not so much it's dripping down the canvas. Take that rag again. I like this because it's kind of surreal, and the whole movie is pretty surreal. Do it again. Blue, white, blue, black. I usually paint on a a wrapped canvas. Today I'm doing it on a flat panel so I don't have to worry about my edges. But if you have a canvas with edges, then you might want to consider that. You can either do the colors that you're doing here or you can wait till the end and just do, um, you know, one solid color stripe. Make sure you go in farther than where your, your wreath is going to be because you don't want uh, a white space in between. I'm going to turn it over so I'm not dealing down here with the, this uh, Okay, blue, white, little black. I do a little bit at a time because if I put paint on this whole space, the beginning would be dry. And, uh, and I wouldn't be able to manipulate it. So. I don't know. Maybe I should teach some faux painting classes. You really should see my work if you haven't. Uh, right now, you can see it on Jackie's Art on Facebook. It's blue, white, a little bit of black. And you can go through the photos and see just some of the things I've done in nearly 30-year career. All kinds of wall treatments. Kept me in shape, too, I'll tell you. Climbing scaffolding and ladders. I used to say I get paid to be to exercise. It's a good business. But I shouldn't be on scaffolding anymore. No spring chicken. <laughs> I mean, no spring chicken. <laughs> My family would get pissed off. And anyway. you said you wouldn't do that anymore. Well, I'm going to let that dry for a minute because I am going to come back to that. Uh, I have to remember that I have it upside down because I all of a sudden I went, <laughs> well, I mean, not to say people don't have 
face is shaped like that, but that's not what I'm looking for here. So I'm going to make sure I got it in the correct direction here. Yeah, that's pretty dry. So now, you know, just use the brushes that are comfortable to you. I'm going to go with the smaller brushes. I play with his face a little more. Um, I take that darker red. Start kind of building on that, building on that face. I'm glad you like this one. When I painted it, I, I was kind of reticent. I think I like this. I mean, it's pretty weird. But then I remembered who I'm dealing with here. Mystery Science Theater fans. I think you get me. I'm starting with the, the darker color on the outside. Now I'm going to come in and bring in this uh, lighter red I have. You know, the darker on the outside just gives it more of a, a feeling of uh, shape, depth. I'm really not going to worry too much about his chin because he's going to have he's going to have himself a big beard going here pretty quick. Oh, she's going to pee. Oh. Puppy pee. Clean up. An aisle, whatever. Hold oh, on, y'all. Here's a wet dragon. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good thing it's not carpet. Well, you probably want to see her. I'm going to give that a minute to... Hey, come here. Shoka. She thinks she's in trouble. Come here, baby. Woo. Puppy. Ta-da. If you've been in these classes, you've seen her grow for a few months. And... I mean, gosh, she started off like that big. So, can I say hi, everybody? Hi. Hi. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. So, when she's destroying things, <laughs> she's still a good puppy. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna let that dry for a little. You can you can play with you wanna fill in a little bit of the background. Just kind of play a little bit. I'm gonna pick up a little white and black, a little more gray. I think I wanna play with this a little bit. Certainly not worried about this outside line here and keeping that straight because, uh, you know, the wreath is going to come in. I'm going to have a little red on that brush. That's cool. I'm going to go in a little purpley. I like it. I love experimenting. And what I'm learning of uh, working with you all is um, you do too.
I mean, you can tell from my style. I I like texture. I, I like things to have more than just a solid color going. But that's just me. Okay, let's see the background. I don't know. I do. I think I'm going to work on my wreath right now for a bit because I want this to dry because I can't do any more on the face or the horns until I get that wreath in there. I can come back and I'll probably add more and change, just do some blending and such in the background. But for the wreath, um, you know, pick whatever brush works for you. I'm going with my second to largest brush. It's like an inch. I'm just going to wipe it off. Pretty much has blue on it, which is fine for the green. A little bit wet. So my cake's getting messy, which I love. Uh, pick up a little green, I'm going to pick up a little white, and a little yellow. And, oh, I'll start, start right here. I'm going to start going around the edge. It's kind of pouncing, you know? And as I go out, I'm going to, well, I want to make sure I cover this area, the white, but I'm going to work on keeping it pretty evenly all the way around. And I'm not looking at keeping this uh, inside line perfect because it's greenery. A little more green, a little yellow, maybe a little blue. You know, when I'm not teaching, I usually work flat on the table or a little bit of both, but you know, I want you to work in whatever place that's most comfortable to you. And like I always say in class, couple times during your painting, you should just get up, step away, turn your back, and then come back and look at it. Because you get so self-critical. I know I do. And it's not until I step back that I can see what I might want to change or add. Like I said, if your um, brush starts dragging, get a little more water on it. Although, um, gosh, who knows? Every time we have a class, somebody's working on some other different kind of surface. It's so inspiring to me. <clears throat> the leg today. Mm -hmm. Doing the calf, I guess. Drawing it on a calf. Oh, a calf. I thought you meant like a baby cow. Baby cow. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> I can't wait to see. What are you painting with? What What are they painting with? What are they using? What kind of paint? Tattoo markers, she sends them. Tattoo markers. So they last for a while? I mean, hmm. 
See, this is new to me. I don't know. I'm learning. Whoa. Step back. I definitely want to build on uh, on this more before I stick his ears over it. Tori says, although I kind of love it, so it might end up permanent. They last like two weeks unless you scrub it off. Oh, is that right? Two weeks. Wow. That'd be fun. That sounds like something that worked for me. I, you know, I love tattoos, but I just don't see myself ever getting a permanent tattoo. So, um, my taste changes so much. I there's things I would have wanted years ago that I wouldn't want now, so. You put it on your back, you never have to see it. Then what's the point? <laughs> Nobody else could see it either. <laughs> no. I would only do that if I was interested in the pain. Okay. Let that dry for a little bit. Okay. I'm going to add a little more to my background while this is drying because I want to get his ears on there and I want to get his horns on there before I start drawing in the face, the beard, and the detail. And then obviously you can't decorate your wreath until... That's dry. So let's see, I'm gonna take that brush I was just using, has mostly green on it, but that's okay. Oh, let's see, a little black, a little blue. Oh, I'm just playing now, all right? Like I've said before, that's how I learned to paint. My dad would say, it's just paint. It dries. You gotta experiment. That's how we learn. Yeah, I'm liking that better. Turned it over, a lot easier. I don't know who's entertaining who over there, Mark or the puppy. <laughs> What I do when I use a rag, I'm, all, I'm constantly moving it and changing it around. Otherwise, sometimes you'll get the same pattern, especially if you're doing a wall or something. And all of a sudden, it looks like you got a chicken walking across your wall. Same pattern. So just have to think about that when you use tools like this. Oh. I 
again. Space is upside down. I've done that before, though. You start drawing in a face and realize that your canvas is upside down. All right. Okay. So this part needs to dry before I can do more. This is drying. Yeah, face is pretty good. I think at this point, I, I got to get his ears in there. Uh, I don't know if you watched the movie. And this guy's got a really trippy, really trippy uh, costume. So, um... I think when I did this one, I used my pencil, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take my little liner brush. Uh, it's kind of risky because, um, well, you know, putting paint on there right away. But I want you to see. Oops. My goal is to do the same thing over here. actor was. I mean, he obviously had a really good time <laughs> playing this part. <laughs> now I gotta fill that in with the red. Once I get the color in there, too, I'll be able to uh, maybe even out his ears so they're more balanced. little ears. He's a happy guy, isn't he? Pretty joyful. He has a lot of fun trying to make kids do bad things. This is about the point I'm going to step off camera so I can get a little distance and look at this because I know I want to balance it out more, but I need to be able to see it from a distance. So, It's always that point where you're like, is this going to work? I always have that point. Always. But I'm going to make it work. So. This guy, Nez, Nez Nemesor, mm -hmm. what was he talking about, Stitch? He had a career of about six, 36 acting roles in Mexican cinema. Most of the roles looked to be pretty small. Is that right? Now i got to do some research. I mean, you tell the guy, I mean, he could move. He wasn't shy, you know. He looked like a really interesting guy. I'm going to have to look him up. 
Santa something really creeps me out though. Ugh. Ugh. A little white on my brush, the lighter red. I'm getting a little definition on those ears. Okay. All right. Anybody feeling horny? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. I didn't write any jokes down for today. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. All right. Let me take my paper plate. I'm going to put a mark on here so I have my... I know where I want horns to be. My marker. This kind of gives me an idea. Okay. Oh my goodness. Shaka. Let's see. Hmm. Where do I want that to go? Okay. No, nope, this way. I want it to start there. I want it to end there. So I'm going to go like that. Okay, same thing on this side. I'm going to have to end about there. Uh oh. Hey, not bad. I got stuff falling down. I want that right there. Um, I want to go down to that little line I put there so you can see. Hold on. Let me show you. See? See? <laughs> I'm always happy when it works out. Thank God. I mean, I figure all this stuff out on my own. And then suddenly I'm painting in front of you guys, and and sometimes I haven't, you know, I painted this thing several weeks before, so I might not remember exactly how I did it, but I think that's okay. I'm cool with that. All right. So I'm going to paint in those uh, his, uh, horns here in white. But while I'm using white, I'm going to go ahead and get his eyes in here. And, um, boy, I would do this. If I was by myself, I'd be doing it in pencil. But I'm not because I want you to see it. So when you draw faces, if you take the head, the eyes are... Pretty much in the center of the head. I mean, most people, that's pretty basic. So uh, the eyes are going to go right here. I'm just going to go for it. See, you guys don't have it. Okay. Whew. That's the center. Okay. Ooh. Scary. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's going to need a little adjustment, but it's a good start. I'm using my Sharpie, by the way. And then, uh, just so you can see it, like I said, normally I do it with my pencil, but... Um, and now if you go from, like, the middle of the eyes to the bottom of the chin, 
the nose is going to end up about, you know, the bottom of the nose. His nose is more pointy. And then the bottom of the nose to the chin is where the mouth is. Things are centered. I'm just going to go ahead and, man, I'm telling you, I'm being bold here. Shanka's eating my easel. You can hear her. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah. Let's start getting the white painted in there now so I can uh, see better what I'm doing. I really can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Industrial Gila Dolphin says, time to use the pitch black colors. Pitch black. Oh, he had a beard? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got that big beard there. Oh, never noticed. Yeah, I like using tools like, you know, circles and, uh, you know, those things around the house. Like when you get to doing the ornaments, you can use a brush like I do, or you can use, um, you know, little lids and things with circles to trace. I'm looking a little too happy right now. I uh, <laughs> get them eyebrows on there and those crazy, crazy eyes. I'm going to put another coat in here. I want the whites of his eyes to be white. Whoop. Red on that brush. Bloodshot eye. <laughs> what have you been doing, bitch? Okay. Whew. Well, I'm going to get his nose in there. I need to see the whole face. So. His nose, I'm just going to take my smallest brush right now. I'm going to take my darkest red and start at the, well, I'm going to start at the bottom here. I noticed he has quite kind of a sharp nose. Like that. Rah. So, Shanka. It's a basic nose shape. And I'm going to go from about where his 
eyebrow is going to be. Let's see, so his eyebrow is going to. It's going to go in there. In the black color, but. Still looking a little too happy, but I'm going to work on the. Shading there, darker red. Well, I'm got that darker red. I'm gonna go ahead and get his lips filled in here. a little too happy, but we don't have those eyebrows in there yet. Now I'm going to start, I'm going to get the eyeballs in there, and I think I'll work on the teeth a little bit. So I've got my tiniest brush, and uh, I'm just going to use some of my black paint here. Yeah, I gotta check out this actor. I'm really curious. There's some cool scenes in there, those dancing scenes with all those those uh, demons all in with the, the fire and stuff. Fire. Fire. Uh -huh. Fire. I bet that was I bet that was fun. To be on the set. Or that Santa guy. Who creepy. Creepy. Okay, going for the eyebrows now. Uh, we'll start at the bottom here. He had some pretty thick eyebrows. Yeah, what a great traditional Christmas <laughs> put up on the, you know, on the wall for the holidays. And, you know, the family that gets it, well, they're probably the ones you want around, right? Maybe you'll chase off the ones you don't want around. Shaka thinks she's tough, but he just got such a little girl voice, you know? Okay, well, his eyes were like, <laughs> right, Shaka? Right? Woo! Eyes, yeah. 
Again, I'm going to have to step back, check my balance on that. <laughs> okay, bitch, come on. You know, like angry. Oh, there you go. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Shaka is eating my easel. Not helping. All right, I'm stepping back. I gotta look. Honestly, it's better than I thought. I'm gonna go ahead and get his beard in there because he's just not gonna look right until I get that beard. Um, whatever brush you like, I'm picking my center brush here, my middle brush. What is that? Half inch, quarter inch, three, half inch, I think. All right, let's see. It's kind of doing a little pouncing motion. Would you stop? I don't know why. Well, it's wood, I guess. But Jesus, <laughs> I give her toys. I give her paint brushes. No. Let's see. Start out oh, right there. What about that actor that played Santa? Oof, he's so creepy. I mean, he must have done other work. Teenagers from Outer Space. That's the one we watched, huh? Yeah, for the show. Yeah, well, yeah that's right, with um, Tuesday. There was some... I was looking for inspiration in that one. Oh, the lobster silhouette. The lobster silhouette. Yes, that's it. And I got some definite ideas from that one. That was fun. I I don't know about you guys, but I don't think any of them were actually teenagers. Wait, wait. Outline with my paintbrush. I have a decent small paintbrush this time. Those are the ones that tend to, um, I don't know, they tend to ruin fast as is the smallest brushes. There. It's starting to look like something. Chris thinks they want a puppy. <laughs> you probably do. They're a lot 
the fun. Sure, love this little girl. Now it's taking shape. I like getting all this part done so I don't have to worry about it. Because then, you know, we'll have fun here with the um, the ornaments. and Yeah. Okay, what you do? Well, I hope you all have some good plans for the holiday, and I thank you for coming a week early for this class, um, which means, what, we got like three weeks before the next one. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to uh, post a, like a bunch of paintings. I'm going to give you... Oh, at least, well, at least six to begin with, if not more, to do a poll for our next painting class. And uh, I'm going to show you this one. I'm, I'm uh, going to start doing some painting classes at a local winery here. And uh, I think this is going to be the first one we do, but I like this a lot. So I'll put that on the poll. I really like this painting. Doesn't mean you have to choose it. I'll give you a lot more choices, but that we'll be doing uh, a non-MST class, our next class, second Saturday. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually pretty happy with this guy. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I think it's time to start uh, working on the background because after that, you know, we can come back, we can detail all we want, but I always want to make sure we get through everything in the class. So the way I make the ornaments. I'll show you that. Um, using my middle size flat brush. You can see my napkin's getting really messy, which is kind of fun. Uh -uh, don't eat that. So I got a clean brush. You know what? I'm going to rinse my water, get some fresh rinse water. Hold on. Luckily, I have a sink right here. Oh, just realized we're in my mono stress, and I, I did bring a, an apron to put on, but so far I'm okay. Don't mess it up. I like my dress. It's comfortable, and it'll be great in the summer because it's sleeveless, but I got my black t-shirt underneath, and I love my little red sweater that I already had. Okay, middle brush. Um, I think I'll start with the lighter color. I'm going to start with some yellow ones, and then I'll go red, and I'll go blue. And the reason for that is I don't have to clean my brush up quite so much. So uh, pick up a little white, a little yellow. And then uh, to get a circle, I'm just going to put it flat like that and just... Spin it. Magic. I'm going to do it again. And if I want different size uh, ornaments, then I'll use different size brushes. Let's do it over here. In it. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to pick up some red, which will make kind of a 
orange ornament, which is fine. Spin. Spin. Yeah. I like it. Another red one. Pick up some blue because red and blue make purple, so that's not a bad color. Having more than one color on my brush, also, I just find I, I just feel like I'm getting a lot more depth, just more interest than just one solid color. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll do some smaller ones. So pick up some red and some yellow. A couple of smaller ones. Mm -hmm. Whatever colors you want. minutes. Okay, good. I'm doing good. It sounds like there's water on. Not in here. Hmm. So she could oh. Oh. <laughs> She's asleep on her blanket and I'm assuming you're the one that piled all that stuff on yeah. her. I didn't think she did it. She's got her toys on top of her. All right, let's see. Oh, I want some blue ones. Some blue. And I don't know if you can see it in my painting here, but I did some little holly. And um, let's see, I, I guess I can do it with this little brush. This holly, little bits of, little bit of circle of red, little bit of red. Family tradition. Hmm. Well, I'm really glad you guys picked this one because, you know, if you hadn't, then we'd all have to just think about it <laughs> for a whole year. Not that that's a bad thing. Right? Okay. Now you can just come in and just kind of, you can add some extra depth, some extra leaves. Just play, you just play. Then a little darker color along the edge, just so it has more depth. Mm -hmm. There's some yellow in there, why not? Do that all the way around.
And then um, I'm going to keep doing that. But in the meantime, too, I want to show you um, just to make it look a little more glassy like ornaments. You know, you might want to look at that. White, with a little shine, you know, a little shine. I'm going to have two pitch paintings. I guess the kids are going to have to decide which one they want to, to keep. So at this point, it's just detail. I mean, whatever you want to do, you can uh, a little more uh, shading here and there. Too much white, that's okay. I'm sure I'm going to play with mine some more later, but um, I want to make sure I see some of yours if you're, if anybody has something they want to show. And if you don't finish it now or don't share it now, I hope you do later on, uh, on the Facebook page. Sometimes you just need some time, you know, to uh, step away from it. There might be something that you're like, well, something's not quite right, but I usually find that if I step away from things for a little bit, it shows up later for me. Oh, yeah, they're always different. Depends on your mood, really. I mean, I'm sure there's people that can create their art to look the same every time. But for one thing, I don't want to. I like to play. I like to, I like to experiment. Pretty imposing eyebrows, actually. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm afraid to do anymore. I'm like, okay. 
Maybe I should be done here. Uh, sign your work. I always suggest you sign your work. I don't know. I'm like, I'll probably play with it a little more, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy, actually. Tori says, I didn't sign my leg. You didn't sign what? Your leg. Oh, your leg? <laughs> well, yeah. I guess you don't have to sign your leg. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. I know in the last class I was going to show you some things I was working on that I've been inspired by. And honestly, I'm still in the middle of them. So you're just going to have to go and see it on the blog for this next week and on the uh, Facebook page. Because I'm working on some really fun stuff that you guys have inspired me. But it's just not ready right now. Maybe even later today. Got everything set up, taking over space. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how we doing, Chris? How you doing? Four minutes. I'm doing well. I finished mine. Yeah, I want to uh, see. I want to see. I got my video time lapse up here. I tried using... Um, the last couple of classes I've used like more like paint because I did it on my iPad. I used more like paintbrush style. This one I did like colored pencils. Oh, okay. I want to see that. I'm going to sign mine. Right? I have um, Tori Michael sent us a picture of her tattoo on her leg. <laughs> so. oh, is it? Okay, I got to see that. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tori's leg. Wow. I can't believe she did that hey, on. How did you? What? I know. From that, I'm not on. That's, That's brilliant. Oh, my God. Nicely done. You must be left-handed, Tori. I'm trying to think of how else. Well, I guess right-handed you could do it on your leg that way. You don't know. That would be hard. Um, and here's my time-lapse pitch. I mean, just doing mine. Good. I tried s sketching it out first, uh -huh. and I ended up not really looking anything like <laughs> my sketch. That's well, okay. Oh yeah. She turned upside down. Huh? Do you see that, Tori? She did it upside did down. It upside down. Oh wow. Oh, that's really cool, Chris. Thank you. I like it. That's really yeah. impressive, Tori. I can't believe you did that upside Dude. down. That <laughs> woman. That's wild. Um, I'm going to put the StreamYard link in the chat if anyone wants to hop on live and show off your work. Yeah. Well, right. I got a couple more in my email here. Hold on a second. Cool. <laughs> this is how I end up. It, it, I, just, I love it. <laughs> the plate becomes the art, too. Okay, we've got one from Claudia Brave here. I want to see. We knew Claudia was going to be here today. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's Travis. That's Travis Reese's. Travis, okay. Uh, this one is Claudia. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. That's like a, that's one evil look. Yeah. <laughs> there's like, there's something really mischievous in that face. <laughs> very cool. I love your pitches. You have, they're very, uh, yours look younger than the rest of ours somehow. You, I feel like Jackie, you, you made pitch look like, um, 
like a teenager or something. Oh, well, it, I might be inspired by the four-year-old granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make them a little, a little less frightening. Four-year-olds, I... Yeah, this is less frightening than her, yeah. She's a lot cuter, but mm, mm. scary. She can be very, very scary. Oh, Claudia mentioned in her email, she has a little fan... She sent a picture of her little fan, but I guess that helps with the with the drying. It's like a little clip on oh, the fan. Okay. So if folks are looking for, I guess, a way to make their paint dry a little quicker. Those are yeah, that nice. or a blow dryer. You can use a little blow dryer. Or... Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um God, such a fun class and perfect <laughs> yeah. perfect timing. Um, I'm, so, I'm just so grateful you guys came because really after I painted and I was like <laughs> well, it's a little weird but you know. i'll say if anyone is giving their painting as a gift for the holiday season i would love to see either a reaction video or a reaction oh, photo wow. of them of them getting your painting actually it doesn't even have to be this painting um you know this is now our ninth class i think so uh That's for students cool. who have been with us for the beginning you now have a, a nice collection of paintings um so if you end up giving those to anyone, we'd love, I love reaction videos and unboxing videos and all that stuff. So yeah. send, it, send it my way. Chris at dumb-industries.com. What was it that, you know, that last class we did, this was the, the one I taught from. Yeah. That was so much fun. And then, um, you know, my studio is in this building and my friend Jamie is a massage therapist upstairs. And, uh, she came in right before I started this class last week and she said, I'm going to a housewarming party tonight. Do you have any art? Well, all my art is at another building in another town right now. So uh, anyway, we were going through stuff like, what can I finish up real quick to give her? And she came in, my painting was still wet. And she <laughs> goes, is that for sale? <laughs> <laughs> and she walked out like this. It was oh, so cool. that's awesome. I know, right? I so I sold last week's painting like right at the end of class. So um, I got one more painting here from Jason Shockley. Oh uh, yeah. It's not finished yet, but okay. Oh, it looks so oh cool. man. The shading it's on bad. the wreath. That was that was the hardest part for me was making that wreath look. A little more three-dimensional like yeah just, mine just ended up looking kind of flat but and oh, Jason, Jason, that's in the wreath yeah the yeah. background i i love what you did with the background is that paint jason or how, what do you would you do it on? um he said yeah he wrote unfortunately i fell behind waiting for paint to dry so currently it is the faceless old devil who lives in your house <laughs> not my house <laughs> <laughs> uh wow awesome guys you guys knocked it out of the park um yeah and i know a lot of folks also uh, a lot of our students end up watching these later on please if uh, you're watching this please send us your completed work please. uh you can email it to me chris at dumb-industries.com or post it in the facebook group and i'm going to put that link for the facebook group in the chat one more time um because that's also just a great place for us to all share our work and um also Join the Dumb Ministries Discord. We have a channel for Jackie's classes there where a lot of students are also posting their work. And you can get to that at discord.dumb-industries.com. Um, anything else, Jackie? I don't think so. Just um, I'm so glad you all came. And I know we did it a week early because of Christmas, the holiday next week. So... I just hope you all have the best holiday and um, share anything, you know, on the student hand, you know, Facebook page. I'd love to see any other art or like the reactions. I'd love to see reactions. If you give any of your paintings to gift. Yes, please. Fun. And uh, just loving the, the student paintings. Mm -hmm. you know? went on and seeing the variety and as we do more classes it's really exciting yeah the student gallery is just uh it's amazing um, yeah i don't know exactly how many paintings are in there but you go through it and it's just like it's it's just beautiful to see how much 
art has been created from these classes. So, and the variety, the variety I mean, too. Yeah. It's yeah. Amazing. All the different things. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to show you. And, and it's, uh, I think it was Inga's that did, she did the, on the bottle, right? Yeah. 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 And that's what I'm inspired by. I just, I bought like uh, 60 of those corks with the fairy lights mm. for bottles. And uh, I'm going to be doing some classes here. Oh, cool. And I've been experimenting with different paints, the enamels and the, and the paints to make sure I find the paints that work the best and that stay, but I'm learning so much. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, Jackie, you, I know you have your Etsy shop. Are you still making Manos robes? Probably, yes. would, probably not before the holidays, but. Um, no, I, I um, right now I'm actually just shipped off a few of the Manos hoodie scarves. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've got a stack of fabric over here. I sold a couple more yesterday um, and they're not going to get them before Christmas, but I'm pretty caught up on myself right now. Very um cool. but yeah on jackie's mono so on etsy and uh and the dress the you're wearing too we also still number, have number 52 i made 52 robes that's, that's right me. yeah the other day i was trying to remember if you just hit 50 and i i that's what i had said so i was accurate um and also the dress you're wearing the the manos the yes. master skater dress we still have those on sale at dumb-industries.com it's um, so comfortable i just i love it it's really comfortable yeah the the long sleeve version of that it was like our top item of the is year. that right yeah very yeah. popular <laughs> so thank you all well i love this so, that i could just put a long sleeve black t-shirt under it and then uh -huh. i can still wear it for summer yeah and, uh yeah very cool. Um, well, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you all for being here today and for this entire year. We're coming up on a year. I think in April it'll be our one-year anniversary. Um, and uh, we love all of you guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for your support. And have a great holiday season. Oh, and I just want to say these are all postcards from misty so i owe some people some postcards oh yeah <laughs> from the uh the postcard exchange that that's right you know, yeah yeah i put it out there and uh i said anybody can send me postcards and they did so <laughs> i promised i'd send one back so i got some postcards there. <laughs> you have homework yay <laughs> all right everyone see you next time <laughs>